Wiggy Town, I'm gonna fly. What's up, everybody? Sean Wiggins here, back with you, with myself. Um, I hope everyone is having a lovely, lovely Sunday morning. Breaking a fourth wall there, telling you when I'm actually filming this. Um, this is a tag team match from eons ago, I think 2006. There's my goofy ass in the ring. Um, so what's up, neighbors? How you doing? How's everything? Um, been a while. Uh, in the ring, we have Sexy Eddie and Beef Wellington. And the reason I want to put this up, I was talking to a good friend of mine, Tony Myers, a couple days ago, and uh, we brought up the Indie Canadian Invasion. Uh, Kevin Steen, El Generico, you know, is uh, Sammy Zayn. Uh, Sexy Eddie was in that. XS69, there's a bunch of guys. And um, this is 2004. This particular match is October 2006. But Sexy Eddie, Beef Wellington, they were all part of that. Super Dragon was in that too, but... Uh, and if Super Dragon, if you're watching this, you might be a good guy now, but God, you were a jerk. All you were was a jerk to me. Uh, I don't know what I ever did to you. Um, but... <clears throat> I don't know, I guess I, you didn't like me or something. I don't know. But a lot of guys had a problem with him. But there's Sexy Eddie, and the boys love this guy. I don't know, anyone I talked to loved this guy. Um... He was funny. He was a good dude in real life. Beef Wellington was a good dude in real life. And Beef Wellington was uh, a jokey guy. He made a lot of jokes. And his character was a joke. But he could go, too. Like they, It's not like they couldn't work. It's not like they were all gimmick. Uh, and they're wrestling the Christopher Street Connection. And here's me getting all the debris out of the ring. That Christopher Street Connection would bring all that stuff in. And this is when uh, the Christopher Street started eating their Wheaties because they started uh, beefing up a little bit. Nope, well, pun intended. Um, and there's Buff, who last time I saw him looked great, <clears throat> even bigger. I haven't seen him in, God, 12 years. I'm going to attempt to hear the audio here. Let's see. Well, <clears throat> I, you should be able to hear most of that buff. <laughs> they had an interesting thing. And oh, by the way, there's a, I've gotten some comments on there that you guys want to hear the natural audio and you guys want to hear the nat sound. And, uh, for the most part, uh, either I have it or I don't. But the other thing is, uh, this is not what this channel is. I just give you, I try to give you a, a back, uh, a side view of professional wrestling uh, from the referee's point of view. Because wrestling couldn't be more exposed now. Everybody, everybody, oops, excuse me. Everybody in the world is a booker. Um, and I've noticed that uh, WWE, AEW, all the big feds, they're worried less about ratings. I don't know, that's just my opinion. They're worried less about ratings and more about like YouTube followers and Twitter followers. And What does WWE have? Like 90 million followers, something ridiculous like this. And for old school fans like myself, all right, the product, we don't like this product compared to the old one, but 
I mean, at the end of the day, you'll always love wrestling. And uh, here we go. This is a good little tag team move. And, ah, oh, Sexy Eddie getting derobed by the Christopher Street. And Sexy Eddie would wear all that shit. I, I don't know if he stuffed his junk, but it always looked amazing. And there's the Christopher Street doing their bit. I mean, they were so over. Oh, no. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, uh, people laugh, but for those of you that remember the Christopher Street, it wasn't a shoot, they were both, actually Buff was married, and at this point, Mace was engaged to the woman he eventually married, um, so they were as straight as an arrow, but what a character the bo both of them were, and a lot of guys would play with it, some guys would get pissed off, I always let them do stupid shit to me, because wrestling's all the work, um, didn't matter to me, uh, it was funny. And I would always try to take their match on the card if I could. I mean, a lot of the times you do odds, I'll do evens. Or, you know. um, way back in the day, we always gave a shit what matches we ref. Now, if I ever came back, which I highly doubt, I would be like, here, you, you tell me what you want. Because it doesn't matter at the end of the day. Every match, I don't want to say every match is the same, but look. <laughs> see, this is easy, old, basic stuff. And he's wiping on me, you son of a bitch. Um, Sexy Eddie, by the way. Ah, uh, dude, wherever you are, I hope you see this. If you do, I miss your ass. You were so funny. You were great to be around. You were just awesome. And so was Beef. Um, I, again, I don't know much about the current wrestling world. I don't know if these two are still wrestling. If you could tell me in the comments. Um, like, comment, subscribe. <clears throat> Uh, and there's Buff now backing up Sexy Eddie to the corner. What's he going to do? Look, they haven't taken one bump, and it's just all this stuff is so over. <laughs> Sexy Eddie's digging it. Oh, God. When I first saw Eddie, I was hoping that he'd work these two guys, and eventually J.A.P. did. See, J.A.P. did put the right matches together sometimes. God, Jersey, watching these breaks my heart because Jersey All-Pro really had... Something brewing. I mean, I thought the bloom was off the rose here, but um, they had so much. And Buff going in for a smooch, but Sexy Eddie's going to cut him off. And it's not like Christopher Street were bad in the ring physically. They weren't. They, I mean, they were solid. You know, I mean, solid as anybody else. And now Mace. I remember Buff was either hurt or, oh no, the double. <laughs> And now, what? And now, May, I'm trying to count them out. Now, <laughs> now I'm getting involved. <laughs> I remember this. Oh, what's Beef going to do? Hey, beef is eating a banana? This is, um, are we going to, are we all going to go? Oh, no. Oh, no, but, ah, no, no. And, uh, why is it hurting me? What the, ugh. I don't know either, fans. I don't know either. I actually don't remember that being called. And uh, there I go. I wake up now, and now I'm, now I'm back in it. Okay, now I'm refereeing again. Cool little spot, man. I bet Christopher Street came up. I heard Beef came up with that. Who came up with that? Guys in the match, who came up with that? Why don't I remember? Beef top row <laughs> goes for the poke. You know, Beef Wellington, I'm sure there's guys in the back that had a problem with him. Oh, he wrestles too goofy and whatever. But you need that on the show. Everybody has their shtick. Look at the 80s WWF. Everybody had their shtick. Everybody had something. Nice neck breaker, I guess. But there's all that do -si doing around and you don't need... <laughs> what the fuck is this? God, I don't remember that... <laughs> Oh, God, Buff. You were so goddamn funny. Sorry for that GD. Bleep that GD! Oh, my God. And Beef would always have the uh, kind of cow print tights. I wish he could have wrestled with his shirt off. Like, he could have. He always wore that jersey, but he actually had a decent build. He was, just, he was whiter than me. That's the problem. If you're whiter than me, you have a huge, huge problem. And now they're going to pick up Sexy Eddie. What are they going to do with him now? Nice body slam there. See, I can call these moves. Who's that uh, dude? I forget your last name. Zeitler? Oh, there's the... They're, they're posing. Uh, shout out to you. I know you want me to call the moves, but... I'm just trying to tell you some stuff that, you know... Some background noise that maybe you didn't... 
somebody wouldn't know. Two can and Eddie and big ups to Eddie and B for allowing Christopher Street to do their shtick. A lot of guys be like, oh, I can't do that. I can't look bad. You know, at the end of the day, you're wrestling in tights. You're pretending to fight somebody, and someone's telling you whether to, whether to win or lose. So you can take a night off and do some of this funny ass shit. Like the crowd was loving this stuff. They always did. And now I'm trying to protect, uh, like, turn around. Right? See, right here, if you're wondering what referees do in this instance, oh, there's the butt punch. The ass punch. Bigger and more powerful than the heart punch. Um, in that situation there, when I'm yelling at Mace, I'm literally telling him, oh, God. I'm literally telling him, wait, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Ah, oh, yeah, there he goes. He just jumped. And for you referees out there, you know, little, I know Buff wants the ass punch. And Beef is going to oblige? I guess he is. Why wouldn't he? He wears tassels, everybody. Beef going to the top rope. Oh, no. What's he going to do now? Macho Man Randy Savage elbow. Superfly splash. No! Oh, you see, he took the bait. And now his genitalia is in the Buff paw. And there's a, a what you call that? A penis slam? And there's a difference between Christopher Street doing this and like Joey Ryan do oh god oh god <laughs> and he's is he tapping out he tapped Beef Wellington has tapped out and the Christopher Street connection are gonna get the W oh my goodness you've seen some matches in your day but have you ever seen a guy lose because two dudes were making out on top of him. Only in Jersey All Pro Wrestling. The makeout spot gets the one, two, three. Anyway, I was going to say the difference between the Joey Ryan, what, the uh, penis hip toss and all that stupid stuff. It was different when Gold Dust or Christopher Street did it. It's, it's an actual gimmick and it's a story and it's a whole thing. But when a guy just does the. I hated it too. And I like Joey Ryan, the guy. I didn't mind him, but I didn't like the dick toss or the arm drag dick. Sexy Eddie now can't believe it. Can we pick up some audio? Well, as you heard there, Beef Wellington had enough. I hope you enjoyed <laughs> this one. And this was great on these shows, a match like this, because you got Loki, Teddy Hart, Homicide, uh, Slip Necro Butcher, uh, 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 Trent Acid. You had all these guys doing all these crazy, awesome matches. You got to have a little, you know, relaxation, a little comedy here. And that's what was great for Christopher Street and Beef. And if you have 10 five-star matches, you ain't got shit because the crowd's exhausted. Well, hope you enjoyed this one. More to come. Ladies and gentlemen, miss y'all. Hope you have an amazing, amazing time, week, month, whatever's going on. Like, comment, subscribe. Arriva Dirty and ciao. Uh, really hope you enjoy these throwbacks. Arriva Dirch. Hey, wait a minute. You know what? Bonus material. Viewing Tyler Black coming all the way from Davenport, Iowa. I'm really excited to be here in JAPW. It's my first time on the East Coast, and I'm looking to make an impression. Low-key, we've wrestled once before. The outcome didn't go in my favor. I'm hoping this time I can do something to change that. Now, your last match with Oki happened out in the Midwest, correct? Tonight, you're basically on his home turf. What's your strategy going into a matchup the likes against Low Key at the ninth anniversary show for Jersey All Pro? Well, it's a big show, and no one steps up in bigger performances than Low Key, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna watch him, keep an eye on him. You know, I, I've been watching a lot of tapes, and I'm hoping I, my studying is caught up. I mean, he's he's got the experience there, but I'm hoping. My youthful exuberance will pull it through, and I'll be able to uh, pull a win out in this one. There you have it. Tyler Black confident in his matchup here tonight against Low Key. Ah, that kid will never make it. Sign it off.